I start my video, I just want to announce that I found my perfect schedule. I'm going to upload my videos every Monday. So for now on, you guys know you have to tune in if you want to watch my videos every Monday. Also, another an announcement which is kind of big for me uh, I am on Periscope right now if you guys do not follow me please do add Be Coco anyway and I'm going to do weekly um, I'm going to have a weekly broadcast and we're going to talk about beauty news so I am addicted to beauty news I read a lot of columns and articles and I'm on forums so I decided why not just have a chat with you guys uh, and talk about uh, the beauty news of the week so I think that would be really fun so don't forget to tune in on Periscope and see all my broadcasts Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about highlighters. I decided to put together a list, a top 5 list for you because I have a lot of my clients asking me about what are my favorite products lately and I just decided to share this with you. So without further ado, here are my top 5 favorite highlighters. So first I'm going to start with a mineral highlighter. This one is from Kors and it's called the Mineral Illuminating Powder. So this is how it looks like. This is the packaging. The color is in Wild Rose. Um, it is a rose gold illuminator. Inside when you open it, it has a, a, a latex sponge uh, which gathers the product. It's, it doesn't look powdery at all when you apply it on the skin. So sometimes I don't use my makeup setting spray. I just use this powder and that's it. I don't know exactly where you can purchase it from. I think it's from Sephora, but I got this one in one of those monthly subscription boxes for makeup. So unfortunately, I do not know where you can, you guys can uh, buy it from. However, I am going to do some research and if I find the place, I'm going to link it down below in the description box. The second product I want to talk about is the Soft and Gentle from MAC. This is how the packaging looks like. It's something classic for MAC, although here you can see the product. It has a plastic, a clear plastic uh, top. And the inside looks like this. It looks pretty nice. It looks like a big eyeshadow, only like in a bigger format. But I'm going to swatch it. Again, this one has a rose gold effect. I'm wearing it right now on top of my cheekbones. Um, it is really powdery. I normally like to set it with a makeup setting spray to get that powder out of the way a little bit but it does have a wet look to it so I really like it. I like to to use it on photo shoots a lot on my models. It's not a really expensive product. I'm going to link the price down below. You can get it everywhere at MAC. It's part of their uh, permanent collection. It lasts a long time I had this product for about two years now I've been using it a lot and it still looks like new so practically this product could last a lifetime although it does expire after around five years the third illuminating product I want to, to talk about is uh, actually one from this drugstore it's pretty affordable it's from L'Oreal it's called the magic light infusing primer it looks like this this is the packaging it has a beautiful rose gold uh, with white packaging it looks uh, it has a pearlescent finish, which I, I pretty much like for a drugstore product. It looks really fancy. It's a cream product. Um, it goes amazing with light skin tones. I wouldn't recommend it for skin tones uh, from medium to deep. You can use it underneath your foundation. You can use it mixed up with your foundation on, or you can use it on top of your foundation. If I have a foundation that does not have a lot of shine, if it's really matte, I like to combine it with this Magic Lumi from L'Oreal and I mix it up with the foundation, I apply it all over the face and you're good to go. I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 for L'Oreal Magic Lumi. I know that they came up with the powder version as well. I didn't have the chance to get that from the drugstore. I didn't even try them. So if you guys try them, please let me know in the comment section down below if you like them, if they're better. The fourth product is going to be again a cream highlighter. I do like them a lot. This one is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is how it looks like. This is a traveling one because I couldn't find the full size product at my local Sephora store, although you can always go online and order it. it. Order it. Uh, this one, it comes in two colors. Uh, one of them is opal and the other one is moonstone. I have moonstone. Um, 
again i'm going to swatch it for you it's a very creamy um and moisturizing product i always like to use it uh mixed with my foundation i think it gives an amazing from within glow and i would recommend that to everybody using it this is gorgeous it looks gold it looks like it's, it's amazing it's not overpowering it's very subtle so that's why it goes great if you mix it with your foundation to give you that nice summery glow uh, so I hope you guys see it it's really natural glow from within I do have it on top of my uh, on my cupid's bow down my nose and on my chin if you guys can see it, it it's not that uh, shimmery it doesn't have shimmer at all it does have a pearlescent finish but that's pretty much it it doesn't have glitter or shimmer or stuff like that in it so i really like it i use it on most of my brides now uh, i recommend this for all my clients and for everybody that wants a really nice summary from wedding glow my last product that i really 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 really, really love although i must warn you this product is kind of harder to find uh, i live in montreal quebec and i had to order it online i couldn't find it on my in my local sephora store um it is the full size product and it's a really expensive one i think i paid around 72 canadian dollars to have this product but it's totally for, worth it from my point of view celestial skin liquid lighting from kevin o'quan it looks like this the bottle is very fancy it, it reminds me of an expensive perfume i'm going to show you guys a swatch here you go one pump and tada oh my god this this looks like it looks like pure gold it looks like a gold liquid it's amazing i do not have the words to describe it. it has no shimmer whatsoever it has a pearlescent gold finish to it i either use it with my fingers i do not i never used it with the brush on itself i use it uh, to mix it with the foundation i'm using maybe that day if it's even if it's a foundation that has a little bit of glow to it i will still add this product because i pretty much love it and you cannot go wrong with it and i apply it all over the face and it looks like you are a queen a goddess it looks amazing it's like you have pure gold liquid in your foundations i give this product a 10 out of 10 kevin o'quan you did an amazing job uh and i love you for it so yes the celestial skin liquid lighting this is my favorite highlighter out of the whole bunch um all right so that was it that was my last highlighter if you guys think that i should try some different highlighters please let me know if you guys already tried them and they're amazing um i will definitely try them out thank you guys for watching don't forget to follow me on instagram at vcoco MUA and on periscope because this is my new thing i'm obsessed with it again at vcoco MUA and uh, leave me all the love and hugs down below in the comment box and see you guys next time bye